Neanderthals were once labeled the dim-witted relatives of Homo sapiens. That's us. Even today, they're often mocked as primitive and inferior. You're so uncivilized. Quit acting like a caveman. Over the past two decades, science has turned our understanding of Neanderthals on its head. To understand how we're related, let's start with a family tree. Neanderthals came first, around 400,000 years ago. Homo sapiens showed up 100,000 years later. We aren't directly descended from Neanderthals, but we do share a common ancestor and originally evolved alongside them. These two species coexisted for a long time. But what did daily life actually look like? So far, no concrete evidence of violence between us has been found, and the idea of battles between species has fallen out of favor. In fact, the two species reproduced. Neanderthal DNA is still present in many of us today. And that stereotype about boneheaded Neanderthals? Let's bust it with some of the latest scientific discoveries. Now we know they were handy. Archaeologists found evidence that Neanderthals made rope out of plants and adhesives from birch bark, an impressive feat for any species. They were also artsy. Recent finds reveal that Neanderthals were not just focused on survival. They had the capacity for art and self-expression. Artifacts like painted shells and eagle talons, probably worn as jewelry, show that Neanderthals may have liked to accessorize. Pigments found may have also been used for painting on their bodies. In a cave in France, broken stalagmites arranged in a pattern were discovered, suggesting Neanderthals were creative. They were also booties. Neanderthals likely enjoyed a diverse diet, including mushrooms, lentils, and pine nuts. There's even evidence they made flour. So why did Homo sapiens survive while Neanderthals went extinct? Scientists are digging for answers. They've studied Neanderthal genomes and conducted research to better understand Neanderthal brains. One theory is that Homo sapiens had different cognitive abilities and longer childhoods to help them develop. Plus, there were far fewer Neanderthals. At one point, it's likely that every single Neanderthal could fit into one big football stadium. Meanwhile, Homo sapiens were everywhere and thriving. So it wasn't about being inherently better, it was just bad timing. The takeaway, let's stop giving Neanderthals such a hard time because who knows what future species will think of us.